This is a demonstration of how I take scanned images from programs, magazines, newspapers, etc., and prepare them for use on the IGRA, excuse me, on the Gay Rodeo History website. Now, I've already scanned this program. It's from the 2022 uh, MGRA Rodeo. Missouri Gay Rodeo Association. <clears throat> I use a program, it's a freeware program called Earthen View. It uh, does most of the work for me. I'm going to use batch mode. Locate the files that I have already scanned. Add them to the list. And for some reason, when I do this, it always puts the last file at the top. So I need to put that back down at the bottom. And the program that I use to do my website editing is called HomeSite. I've been using it since, oh, 1995. It is no longer available, but it's what I, it's what I know. It works well for me does the job. So let's go in here to the Gabriel History website. I'm going to open index.htm and I'm going to open indexprograms.htm and indexprograms thumbs.htm. Those are the primary files that I'm going to be working with. Now back over here to my batch mode. Uh, let me see, I need to double check and make sure I get the right resolution. On the files that I'm working with. So I'm doing a Take bedtime medications and insulin shot. <laughs> so I'm using um, 720 pixels high. Horizontal is coming out, whatever it ends up being. So go into the advanced settings, set the height for. 720 and I think everything else is already set. I choose the location that I want these files to go in and this is going to be 2022 programs and I click the start batch mode. Now what this does is resizes those images and uh, creates copies in the folder that I've specified. Done. Now comes the tedious part. Let's see, I'm going to open one of these other. This is uh, from Colorado Gay Rodeo Association. I tend to steal a lot of code from other other files, so we're going to save this. Save as, uh, what is this, MGRA? Yeah, MGRA. And then I'm going to take a section here and copy it because I'm going to reuse this in a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to get rid of all of this. Now I'll go down to the directory that I just created the uh, programs or the um, files in. Choose them, the 13 pages. Copy them over here. Now what I need to do is I need to change this part. This is a search and replace form, and I'm going to change every time you see that, it's going to change it to this. 
Apple puts a link at the bottom of each file that takes you back to the uh, uh, to the index. All right, now I need to update information on the page so that it is correct. 2022. And I better take a look and make sure I get everything spelled correctly. MGRA. Let's see. Do they have a special name for their rodeo? Nope. Just MGRA. Now let me check something else. That's not the right one. See, this is the sort of thing I go through. Pretty much each time I do this sort of thing. Because there's so many variations in all of these. MGRA. Missouri Gay Rodeo Association. So... I guess that is it. It doesn't make sense. Show me state rodeo. That is correct. All right, they should have that on the front cover, and they don't. All right, show me state rodeo. This information up here where it says title, that only occurs in two places. It occurs on Google when you're searching for something. Uh, and it occurs in the tab at the top of your web browser. Okay, now we need to double check the date. Which was... Yeah, it's amazing. There it is. Uh, it's amazing how much information is left off of these things that should be there. June 11th through the 12th, 2022. Okay, I first posted this page on December 6th. 2022, and this is not relevant to this particular, wait a minute, let's see, let's check, see if I can put anything in here, Missouri State Fairgrounds, held at the Missouri. <laughs> you spell Missouri. Uh, M-I-S-S-O-U-R-I. M-I-S-S-O-U-R-I. -S -S All right. This page is now finished. Now I need to go back to the programs page and show you what this page looks like. That's what this this is uh, let's see which one I'm gonna work on first. Okay, I'm gonna work on I'm gonna work on this one first. So we we'll got down here uh, 
Kansas City. So it's going to go in right here. Back to the raw code. And I'm going to steal another piece of code from here. And we're going to put it in. Yeah, no, maybe I won't. So 2022, show me state rodeo. That's all there. I just need to change this. The um, This is the link that takes you to the page that's got the program on it, which is right here. And this will be easy. Just copy that get rid of it and come back and paste it in the right place change this to an O copy some more code Uh, January oh, nine's fine. Okay, what this little piece of code does is uh, basically it replicates this part right here. If the date is before January 9th, 19, or 2023, then it puts in a slightly different piece of code here that puts a yellow border around the, the thumbnail. After January 9th, 2023, it replaces the code with what you see there. All right, I'll save that and show you what it looks like. And if I did everything right, this red X here should change into a yellow zero. And I did something wrong. So, let's see here. What did I do wrong? Y1C, Y1F, oh, it shouldn't, it should be E, Y1E, let's try that. There we go. Now I still got to create the thumbnail. So we'll go down to where the, where the files are located. 2022 programs MGRA. Now here's the cover page. I'm going to resample that to 100 pixels high. Is that correct? Yeah. And then I'm going to save it as dash T H U M B. Let's see if I did that correctly. Oh, so we'll go back over here. I probably got the file name wrong. Okay, here's what I messed up on.
Oops, oh, I need the entire the entire block. Okay, that goes right after here. And I'll make the corrections because I copied it from another place. Let's see if that works. There we go. Okay, what did I mess up on? Oh. Okay, 20, 22, forward slash. There we go. There we go. Right. Now the next last the next page I need to work on is this one. I call this the thumbnail grid, which is this one. And we'll search for MGRA again. This one's a little bit easier to work with. So I'll copy this, paste it, change the appropriate points, 22, 22. Twenty two, twenty two, and I need to get the find the JavaScript code for this page. There's a piece. This does the same thing, uh, puts a yellow border around the picture. And that is to replace the IMG tag. Change the date. One, nine, 23. Okay, we should have it appear here when I refresh the page and there we go. One more page, and this is the main index for the website. Oh, I forgot something. On the thumbnail page, up top I need to uh, put a yellow background Twenty twenty two, so oh, Missouri. See if I got that right. Okay, here's where the yellow background is and did the job. All right, now the, uh, the main index page. I need to update the date thing so that it shows that we have a new item. So change this to January 9, 2023 and the same thing down here for the thumbnail grid January 9, 23. Ok. 
okay on the uh, that adds these new icons next to there and those will go away after about 30 days now the last thing to do is to upload the files this is a freeware program called FileZilla. It's, an, it's a, an FTP program, stands for File Transfer Protocol. It's the way most websites, real websites, are uploaded from a local computer to... See, all, all the stuff that I'm working on is on a server here in my trailer. Synchronize top and bottom. Come down to 2022, go into programs, and the newest stuff is up here at the top. Those files are being uploaded. This file is being uploaded. And these three files are being uploaded. Now if we go to the actual website, Program Date Grid, Kansas City, that's working. Thumbnail Grid, okay and that's working. So that's how I update things on the Gay Rodeo History website. Use the same procedure for a number of other websites that I do, uh, which are my personal inventions. Hope this was useful.